Hi everyone. So today we're going to start to draw these beautiful flowers that we made in our Google Drawings last week. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to read you a book about Georgia O'Keeffe and then I'm going to walk you through how to pull up your Google Drawing from last week of the beautiful flower and then we're going to draw it together. My name is Georgia, a portrait by Jeanette Winter. Georgia O'Keeffe was born on a farm in Wisconsin in 1887. When I was 12 years old, I knew what I wanted, to be an artist. I've always known what I wanted. When I was small, I played alone for hours and hours and hours. I was satisfied to be all by myself. I did things other people didn't do. When my sisters wore sashes, I didn't. When my sisters wore stockings, I wore none. And when my sisters wore braids, I let my black hair fly. I rode to town every Saturday to copy pictures from the stack in the art teacher's cupboard. At home, I looked out my window and drew pictures of what I saw. Maybe I could make something beautiful. At school in Chicago, I drew from statues in the museum. At school in New York, I painted one still life painting a day, every day. At school, I painted my teacher's ideas. But when school days were over, I went out into the world to discover my own ideas. I went to Texas Plains, the wild west of my childhood books. You have never seen sky. It was wonderful. I walked into the sunset and I felt the wind across the plains. And I painted the sunset and the sky and the wonderful loneliness and emptiness of the place. I painted day and night. I worked till my head all felt light in the top. I have things in my head that are not like what anyone has taught me, shapes and ideas. But I bundled up my paintings and went to New York City to be where other artists lived. I walked down in the canyons of steel. I lived high up in the clouds and painted what I saw from my window. But sometimes what I saw from my window was far away calling me. I painted a garden in the city. I wanted everyone to see flowers the way I saw them. I looked closely at the flowers. I painted a camellia. I painted it big so people would notice. I painted a jack in the pulpit. I painted it big so people would see. I painted poppies and petunias and some flowers in jimson weeds and irises and apple blossoms. My garden bloomed until everyone saw the flowers the way I saw them. But still, I looked to the sky, the distance has always been calling me. I went to the New Mexico desert, so far away that no one ever comes. I was satisfied to be all by myself. It was too dry for fl the flowers to grow, but there were bones. I gathered the bones, big bones, little bones, short bones, long bones, a cow's skull, a horse's skull, a ram's skull, and brought the bones home to paint. One day, I held up one against the sky and saw the blue through that hole. I painted what I saw. I saw the sky and the red hills. I walked into the hills at daybreak and twilight, at noon and in starlight. I painted the arms of two red hills reaching out to the sky and holding it. I drove my Model A across the desert and back and up and down and over the hills. I painted in my studio on wheels until the afternoon bees chased me home. Even in winter, I went far out into the far away and painted in the bitter cold. I painted when the wind was so strong it nearly blew me away.
I did things other people didn't do. I climbed my ladder to the night sky to wait for the sun. I slept under the stars to see the morning sky when I woke. My pile of bones grew, my flowers bloomed in the desert, and it was all mine. And the sky, oh, it was still wonderful. I painted the sky one more time. I painted my sky big so people could see the sky the way I did. I worked from dawn to dusk every day for weeks and months. Then, as I painted the last cloud, the sun slipped behind the mountain and I laid my brushes down. Kissed the sky for me. Georgia O'Keeffe lived to be 98 years old. In museums all across the land, people see her flowers, deserts, hills, cities, and skies the way she did. The end. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to get back to your flower that you're going to be drawing. Big shout out to Miss Aiken for letting me use her fake student in her class to show you guys this tutorial. Okay, from your stream, you're going to click on classwork. You're going to go to art. And then you're going to find last week's assignment, and you're going to click on it. For third grade, the assignment is Tuesday, May 19th. For fourth grade, it's Wednesday, May 20th. From here, in the Your Work section, you're going to click on your Google Drawing, and you're going to see your flower pop up. Now, from here, you can print this if you have a printer. You can leave it open on your computer so you can draw it from here, which is what I did. Or you can open it up on another device if you have one, like a phone or an iPad, so that you have that flower in front of you and my video playing. You don't really need to have this video playing while you're drawing though. So if you need just one device and you need to open up the flower on that one computer, watch the rest of this video first and then you can go ahead and draw. Okay, here is my image. I'm going to have it showing in my screen just so you can see what I'm drawing as I'm drawing it. Okay, so I'm going to start with that big middle piece in, in the middle. Now, what I want you guys to make sure that you're doing is that you're drawing this image the way you're seeing it. You're not drawing a small little tiny flower in the middle of your page. You're not drawing something that's not in front of you. You're drawing the image that you chose. So you need to draw it exactly the way you see it. If there's something that's cut off on the image, then you need to draw it that way on your paper. So I'm going to start with that middle circle. As you can see, it's almost like a semicircle that I'm drawing because that's what I see in my image. And then from around that, I'm going to start drawing the petals. Now, as you're going to see, I'm going to draw the petals off the edge of my paper. Again, I'm going to draw these petals and everything else that I see exactly the way that I'm seeing it in my image. Now, things that overlap or go behind the others need to be drawn too. And as we've done in the past, the way you do that is by erasing the inside of the one that's um, on top. All right, I'm going to finish drawing this up so you guys can see what I'm looking for. Simple drawing. You do not need to go too crazy and draw every single little teeny tiny circle that's in the middle there. We're going to be doing that with color, so don't worry. So draw up this, the rest of your flower. We are not outlining today. We're just going to be uploading our pictures of pencil. All this is is a line drawing, guys. I don't want to see any shading. I don't want to see any coloring in with your pencil. You're just drawing the outline of your flower. All right, and that is all for today. All I want you to do from here is take a picture of your pencil drawing of your flower and upload it to the this assignment on Google Classroom. I hope you guys have a great week.